Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. Now we are discussing immunodeficiencies. It's a part one. Immunodeficiency means immune system is unable to protect the host from disease causing agents or from malignant cells. It will affect adaptive or innate immune function. Immunodeficiency classified as primary or secondary. First, we are discussing primary immunodeficiencies. Immunodeficiency that arise from a genetic or developmental defect in the immune system is called primary immunodeficiency. Such defects are present at birth and reveal different stages during the development. Most defects affect either lymphoid or myeloid cell lineage or the complements. Lymphoid means white blood cells, myeloid means granulocyte, egg granulocyte, that type cells. Lymphoid cell disorder affect T cells, B cells or both B and T cells. Myeloid disorders affect phagocytic functions. Most of the primary immunodeficiencies are inherited. Some of them are arise from the developmental defect and improper functioning of the organs of the immune system. T cell deficiency affect both humoral and cell mediated response. Single form of immunodeficiency can arise due to different genetic defect, example SCID. First we are discussing classification of primary immunodeficiency syndromes. It is divided into three. First one is disorders of specific immunity. Second one is disorders of complement. Third one is disorders of phagocytosis. First one disorders of specific immunity is again divided into humoral immunodeficiency that means B cell defect. Second one cellular immunodeficiencies that means T cell defect. Third one combined immunodeficiency that means B and T cell defect. Complement component deficiencies and complement inhibitor deficiencies comes under disorder of complement. Schwachmann syndrome and lazy leukocyte syndrome comes under disorder of phagocytosis. Humoral immunodeficiencies Examples of these disorders are X-linked eggama globulinemia, common variable immunodeficiency, selective immunoglobulin deficiency, immunodeficiencies with a hyperimmunoglobulin M. Second one, cellular immunodeficiencies. Example for this disorder, type me hypoplasia. Third one is combined immunodeficiencies. Example for these disorders, ataxia telangiectasia, severe combined immunodeficiencies. Next we are discussing secondary immunodeficiencies. Loss of the immune function by variety of factors such as malnutrition, malignancy, infection, metabolic disorder and cytotoxic drugs. AIDS is the example for the secondary immunodeficiency. Secondary immunodeficiencies are more common than primary immunodeficiencies. Next, we are discussing diabetes. 
it is an example for the secondary immunodeficiency white blood cells do not function well when the blood sugar is high second example for the secondary immunodeficiency is cancer many types of cancer can cause immunodeficiency disorder leukemia and lymphoma are the examples next we are discussing aids human immunodeficiency virus it causes the aids transmission of hiv includes homosexual and heterosexual contact between broken skin wounds or mucous membrane hiv infected blood and blood product and passage from infected mother to their infants thank you for watching if you like this video please click like button share with your friends and subscribe the channel